Hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. So in today's tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to make a smooth text animation in After Effects. All right, so once you've opened up After Effects, uh, you wanna click new composition, create a new composition, name it anything you would like, um, name mine tutorial. Tutorial, okay. And make your size 1920 by 1080, make your frame rate 60 FPS, and make the duration anything, but I'll make mine 10 seconds, and make your background color black. Click OK. And as soon as you open up your new composition, you want to click the T tool, so it's the text tool, and you want to click it uh, anywhere on the screen, and type anything you like, I'll name my tutorial. And I'll just uh, select this, and click Align. And then go ahead and center it by clicking this button and this button. Alright, so once you've done that, what you want to do is select this layer and click S on your keyboard keyboard to open up the scale uh, options. And then what you want to do that after is click, so hold your time indicator, move it to around one, one point, one and a half seconds. And then what you want to do now is click this little um, stopwatch icon. And then go back to zero seconds again and then uh, type zero on your keyboard and press enter now what you've made is this little dull but simple animation but it still doesn't look very smooth all right so after that what you want to do is select these little keyframes and then hit uh, f9 in your keyboard to make them easy ease keyframes so now it's a bit better but it still looks really bad it just it just does like it's not smooth you know you want to create a smooth text what you want to do so what you want to do now is select these keyframes click this um button it's called graph editor and then you you open up this little you know it looks complicated but trust me it's easy uh i'll i'll just guide you step by step so what you want to do now is click this little red line anywhere on the red line just click it and then you'll see these yellow yellow lines with a dot on it. So what you want to do now is click the dot, yellow dot here. And while pressing shift on your keyboard, you want to drag it to the left a bit like that. All right. So around there, around there on, your, on, uh, on the screen. And then what you want to do is do same for the, the below. And then you're going to make this, you know, pretty smooth line. And what happens, it, what happens now is if you look at this an animation now it looks super smooth look all right so now you've got your smooth animation you want to click this little black box beneath this motion blur uh, motion blur tab which is going to enable the motion blur for this text and what's going to happen is it's going to blur the text while it's moving so it looks more much smoother than it is now so let's preview the text yep it looks very smooth yeah all right so now that we now that we got our very smooth text animation so you want to make this video length until okay let's say you want it until five seconds right so what you want to do now is click this little blue blue thing at the very end of your composition and as you do that just drag it to the left and while pressing shift again go near your time indicator and it will just snap it will just snap into place like that and then you got your you got your animation <clears throat> so now you want to export this video into Pre Pre premiere pro or anything your editing software or anything right so what you want to do is click file click export and then go add to adobe media encoder queue all right so what's gonna what we're gonna do now is copy my settings so you get the best exporting settings and smooth settings right okay all right so once you've opened up the adobe meteor encoder queue um you want to click this little um preset button right so what you want to do is click it and it's gonna be connecting to the dynamic link server and all that so you just want to wait here and then you can copy my settings or the export exporting settings so your format you want to make it h.264 so that's that's actually also known as like mp4 i think yeah and it's just like the most common and well-known export exporting 
way, I guess. And then make your preset YouTube 1080p full HD if you want to upload it to YouTube. But uh, I just use this. It works for every everything really. It does. It's not only for YouTube. It's 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 pretty good. Yeah. And you go ahead and copy all my settings here. I'll just scroll down so you guys can pause anywhere and all that. All right. So that's pretty much it. Uh, you don't have to mess around with the advanced settings. You also don't have to mess around with the VR video settings. It's, this isn't a VR video, so yeah. And as soon as you copy my settings, just click OK. And you can see that it got applied. And then just choose anywhere you want to upload it to, to, export it to. And then just click this little green icon, which is going to start the uh, actual exporting pro uh, process. Yeah. So I'll be back when the exporting is done. All right, so the exporting process was successful. It's now in my download files. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today's tutorial. I really hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. I, I, I hope you guys learned something new today. And um, let me know in the comments below what kind of tutorials you want next or anything. And yeah, thanks for watching, I guess. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.